Hello everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am giving you seven reasons why you suck at writing. I'm kind of kidding. <laughs> but no, I want to talk about the things that hold us back from being good writers. These are the things and habits that you might be stuck in doing that are leading to you spinning your wheels, going in circles, not improving, and also sometimes rampant delusion about how good you are. But seriously, I know people get frustrated that they feel like they're just not improving at writing. They're a bad writer. So here are some of the reasons why you might have a problem. Reason number one, you haven't practiced enough. So writing is a volume game. Writing is a skill. It is a skill that you can improve, that you can get better at. It's not about being inherently talented or good at writing, and even people who maybe start the race with a little head start can't get anywhere unless they practice. Practice means just raw words on the page. They say it takes 10,000 hours of doing any given thing to get any good at it, and I'd say that's pretty much true for writing as well. This means tens of thousands of words, possibly hundreds of thousands of words. It means a lot of writing. It means a lot of time. It means not just raw words on the page, though you need those, but learning how to critically evaluate your own work, to learn how to edit, to put away projects that aren't working and starting new ones. No one's going to become a great writer if they write just one book and then endlessly work on that book for 10 years because you haven't gotten the raw volume of words that you need to get down on the page and out in the world to develop your writing. The more you write, the better you will get at it as long as you're thinking critically about your writing and actively trying to get better. The second reason maybe you are sucking at writing is that you do not have a decent foundation of grammar and usage. I know this is something that people don't like to hear, and I am not a writing elitist. You don't have to have a certain level of education or specific experiences to be a good writer. And you certainly don't have to be perfect to be a good writer, perfect at kind of the grammar and usage and prose on the page, but you do need a decent foundation. You need to know what parts of sentences are and how words function and how to use them in more or less proper order on the page in order to write generally clean, readable prose. And you need to know the rules of writing and why things are the way they are in order to break those rules and be creative and try new things. But generally speaking, bad writing, kind of like base level bad writing, is messy. Uh, things don't make sense. The punctuation is a mess. And these things, these kinds of errors and problems, they literally disrupt readers as they're reading them. Like eyes trip over things and no one likes to do a ton of work when they are reading. Work to understand. You need that base kind of level in the writing to be seamless so that you can actually deliver story to people. People don't want to be constantly distracted by errors, and so you do need a be decent grasp of grammar and usage. So if you're a young writer and you're in school, pay attention in class. They're going to make you learn these things. It sucks. I hated my grammar lessons, but I'm thankful for a lot of them because, you know, that teacher who really took me to task on passive voice actually taught me something about clear active prose. So if you're still in school, pay attention, kids. Now, if you are out of school, you can teach yourself grammar. There are courses you can enroll in. There are free resources on the internet with kind of grammar concepts and rules that you can read up on with lots of samples. And I'll link to some resources down below. There's also tools. I haven't tried them myself, but there's tools like Grammarly that are supposed to help with those sorts of things, though I think relying on computer programs is dangerous because we all know that stupid paper clip in Microsoft Word makes really dumb suggestions a lot. And ultimately, 
a human being understanding how things work is then going to be the best person to take creative license and push the envelope and make things work and make those final decisions. So I do think it's worth investing in learning that foundation of grammar and usage yourself. The third reason your writing might suck is you don't have a firm grasp of story structure. So this is the 201 that's going to go on top of that grammar and usage thing. So you got some clean prose. The sentences make sense. They're generally good to read. But if you have no sense whatsoever of what makes a good story, you're gonna bore the shit out of your readers or confuse them or they're just not going to care. And you're going to lose them. Very often, most critically in work, I read that just, it's plotting, it is objectively bad, is that it's lots of navel gazing and nothing happens. The characters are flat. Learning about story structure, whether you read books or take a class or just ingest a ton of stories and start and see what kind of master crafters of story are doing, is that you start to see that it's dynamic characters. It's characters who start in one place and end up in another. It's arcs, it's growth, it's change. It's hitting specific emotional beats in a story. Story beats are essentially emotional beats because you need your readers to feel things at specific intervals approximately. And it is just, you need things to happen. You need to have conflict, you need to have stakes. And really, under the umbrella of you might suck because you don't understand story structure is not understanding all of this craft stuff I just spewed at you out of my mouth. And the way to fix this, I kind of just rattled it off. You can take a class, you can read craft books, you can just ingest a ton of expertly crafted stories. And some of us are osmosis learners and we can kind of figure it out by doing that. You can seek out resources on channels like this or podcasts. Whatever kind of learning mode works best for you, this goes for grammar too, by the way, find those resources and ingest that information. You know, if you're a visual learner or an oral learner, put in the time and the investment to learn about this stuff. Doing so is essential for leveling up your writing and sucking less. And this brings me to the fourth reason you might suck at writing and that is you don't read. Now, reading is not a magic fix-all solution. Darned if we don't know avid readers who still manage to vomit out a book and you read it and you're like, but you're a reader, why isn't this better? <laughs> but here's the thing, all great writers are readers. Not all readers are great writers, but if you want to be a great writer, you do need to read. You need to ingest story. I have whole videos on this, which I will link to down below. Generally, ingesting stories in any medium is going to be useful to you as a storyteller, but if you are specifically writing novels or short stories, you need to read in those mediums, read voraciously in those mediums. There's specific formats and structures and things that you pick up with prose that you can only get from actually reading those words on the page. And so there is a line where even like audiobooks kind of aren't gonna quite get you there. Well, audiobooks do count as reading for kind of getting a sense of the, the rhythm of the words on the page and the lengths of the paragraphs and things like dialogue tags and kind of those next level things. You do need to physically read books or short stories, whatever your medium is, graphic novels. Whatever you are trying to write and get better at, you need to read. All right, so the fifth reason you suck at writing is that you are grandiosely delusional about how good you are. So this is speaking to a specific category of sucky writer. And I mean, honestly, you're probably not even watching this video if you're one of these people because you don't think you suck, you think you're amazing. You're probably watching my how do you know if you're a good writer video. And in that video, I talked about the Dunning-Kruger effect, which is this phenomenon where very often the most confident people have the lowest skill level. And the thing is when you sit in that space where you are so confident that you are amazing and you refuse to listen to any criticism, you refuse to do any work to get better, you're gonna suck. You're never going to improve. And very often the writers I see with the most aggressive bravado about how 
they don't need to listen to, to me or to other people or, oh, this all of this stuff is stupid. I don't need to know grammar or craft or any of that stuff. Dollars to donuts, 99% of the time, if you actually get your eyes on their writing, they suck. So big ego probably means you're not very good. The sixth reason you are probably a sucky writer is you are terrified of failure. When we let the fear of failure kind of rule us and we're unwilling to put ourselves out there to seek out criticism, to push ourselves to learn more and improve, to set aside projects that aren't working, to get more of that volume work in there, Fear of failure leads to stagnation. You can never grow or improve or get better if you're afraid of failure and or rejection, of putting yourself out there. It's an essential part of being a writer and getting better at writing to essentially develop a very thick skin and develop a healthy perspective on kind of writing as an art and kind of writing as a business in the sense that writing for public consumption and most of us want people to read our work. You have to do all of that work on yourself to get better and very often when I see people who aggressively stick their heads in the sand of like, oh, I, I don't need to, you know, kind of listen to anyone or improve. This kind of falls under the, the delusion part, but under a lot of that delusion is the vulnerability of that fear of failure. And very often the, the, the writing just isn't going to be kind of up to scratch because that fear has kept a writer from doing any of the work to improve their writing. And the seventh reason maybe your writing sucks is that you take yourself way too seriously. Have fun with writing. Writing should be fun. And it's those fuddy-duddy serious people often the ones with the ego, by the way, who are also afraid of failure, who are just like, I'm a writer. Writing, I take it very seriously. And very often these writers, by the way, can have that grammar foundation, they can have that craft, but they take it so damn seriously that what they write, yeah, there's words on the page and the sentences are fine, but does it mean anything? I find that writers that take themselves way too seriously, again, very often fall into that ego trap and are just way less likely to be any good. Lighten up, have fun, put yourself out there, and really this all does come back to that volume game. Write a ton, write more, write for fun, because if you're not writing for fun, why are you writing? And I promise, sucking at writing isn't a life sentence. We all at some point suck at writing, but it's all about kind of writing more <laughs> and trying different things and putting yourself out there and working to improve. And if you are here because you're afraid that you suck at writing, I will also refer you to my Are You a Good Writer video where I deliver the good news that if you're even contemplating this question, you have a shot, baby. You're on your way. You're probably better than you think or can get better than you are now. You're really only kind of doomed if you get stuck in that ego piece, but yeah. I am incapable of even doing kind of, you know, a video about something as negative as sucking at writing without trying to give you a little bit of positivity and a little bit of hope. Let me know down below in the comments. How do you know that someone sucks at writing? Like, what are the signs that you see in bad writing. Though I guess bad writing is a whole other topic that I should probably cover in a video, but give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll make a video about how to know that if writing is bad. Yeah, we can do that. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post new videos two to three times a week. Thank you so much for watching and as always guys, happy writing.